everybody welcome back to the mind cages channel i'm going to show you guys my full full coverage foundation routine update this is what i've been doing when i want maximum coverage of course you want to start off with moisturized skin even if you're oily i've also been using the lancome poreless uh found i'm sorry foundation primer and I really like it. It's more of a silicone face, very smooth. So I only use it in my outer perimeter of my face because I have combination oily skin. And I found out that using two primers works best for me. I use the Becca Perfecting Primer. It has a long name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I use that on my nose and around my nose, right on the nostril area, all the places where I get shiny. So basically right there in the center of my face, I use that primer. All right, right here I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Deep. The only shade that I've been reaching for in that contour kit lately is the cinnamon shade. And that's just for um, neutralizing those dark spots on my skin. Old acne blemishes around my mouth where it's a little darker. Uh, sometimes along my cheekbone. But the foundation that I choose um, actually fixes all of that. I, I just want ultimate coverage. That's what this is about. Fixing up not, I don't want any blemishes showing. So this is what I do. And I blend that out with a damp beauty blender. This is my foundation of choice. This is Becca Cosmetics Foundation. This one is in the shade Mink. This color suits me perfectly. And as you can see, it is definitely full coverage. That's a damp beauty blender. It's clean. I always use a clean damp beauty blender to apply my foundation. And you can see those marks and blemishes just disappear. I've also know, uh, see that I don't have to really beat my face up when I'm applying my foundation. I kind of just press it in press it in lightly and you can see that side of the face as opposed to the other side without the foundation it's truly a great foundation i have not budged on it it's still one of my faves if not my favorite next i'm going to go ahead and use the pure cosmetics uh, contour sticks what they're called the cameo sticks I love them. It takes the guesswork out of what shade I should use for contour and what shade I should use for highlight because it's double sided. So I just use the lighter side to highlight, the darker side to contour. I truly believe that this one is in the shade deep and I really like it. Again, I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender to just pat this in. I'm not beating my face up. I'm taking my time. This foundation routine is basically when you have time, when you set aside an hour or an hour and 20 minutes and you say, I truly want to walk out the, fit, the house flawless. This is it. So it does take time. I know I condensed this video down to about five, six minutes, but this foundation routine right here takes me at least an hour. I'm really taking my time and making sure I'm blending and everything. You see, I use my finger for my nose. That works out pretty good. That's my Sasha Cosmetics uh, powder. I still use it. I just use it very lightly. I learned that I don't have to bake. I don't want to get uh, cakey. It's a very finely milled powder, but under my eyes, no matter what I use, sometimes I do cake a little bit. So I've learned to use it very lightly. This is my Mary Kay. This is actually a mineralized foundation. It's very, very light. So I use it as an all over face powder and I actually use it very lightly. I don't apply much. That is the extra dimension skin finish from Mac and it's in whisper of guilt. Everybody went crazy for these. I have all three of them and unfortunately they're limited edition. Uh, that is a Milani blush. I will have everything listed below the names and everything because I don't remember what it is, but I'm just blending it in right underneath the highlight and onto the cheeks. As 
for my lips, I'm using a dark brown lip liner. Well, it's actually not a lip liner. It's a waterproof eyeliner from Black Up Cosmetics. But it's like the perfect shade of brown for my lips, so I use that. And I could also use this all over my lips and a little gloss, and it's a perfect nude for me, too. And it doesn't move. This lipstick has become one of my favorite nudes. This is from Borghese. Uh, it's a, per a little pricey, but it's a very pretty nude uh, lipstick. It's in the shade Edge. Pardon my voice. It's early in the morning, guys. <clears throat> and that is it. No filter used in this video at all. This is how my face looks inside and outside. I love this routine. This is, for me, the best routine I've come up so far from my face. Okay? Hope you guys enjoy. Cyber kisses. And see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And check out the little Mind Catchers video as well.